In this video, I'm going to show you how to show the formulas in Google Sheets. So sometimes when you're working in your spreadsheet, you may want to display the formula used instead of um, having the return value in the cell. So essentially what you can do is you can have the cell show the actual formula instead of performing the calculation. So I'm going to show two different ways for doing this. The first way is going to automatically display every formula used in your sheet. With the second way, you can only do a specific formula. So if you want to do a specific formula in a single cell or a few cells, um, you can do that with the second way. So this is actually relatively easy to do. So the first way, again, is we're just going to show every formula. So I have these cells here with all these different formulas and with one button I am basically going to convert these all to the actual formula themselves instead of doing the calculation. So to do that there's a built-in option for that and that you will find up in this view option here. So view and then show formulas and you can see now it's no longer calculating the formula it is showing the formula. So that is something that's useful to know. So that's the first method, show all formulas. So again, that's up in the view option. So I'm going to deselect that. So now it's doing calculations again. Now if you want to do a single formula, what you do is you come to the cell with the formula and then at the very beginning of the cell, right before the equal sign, you just put an apostrophe. So I'm going to put an apostrophe and then I'm going to select enter and you can see this one just converted to showing the formula. So the apostrophe disappears from the cell. So it's no longer there, but you can still see it. It's actually in there. It just doesn't display. And that is how you do specific cells showing the formulas. So I'll just do these three. So an apostrophe again at the beginning of the cell right before the equal sign, enter, and that shows formulas of specific cells. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's a pretty short one. Um, hopefully you found this useful. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.